What's up, everybody? Uh, it's Jay Spring. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube after talking with my buddy B-Rad uh, about uh, acoustic guitar. Wanted me to show him my cheat chords, so I told him I'd make a video. Uh, this is the first of a few. Uh, these are my cheat chords for the key of G. All right, so maybe your basic G chord is usually something along the lines of this, where you have uh, third fret, second fret, and then everything's open until third fret on the E string. So yeah, one of the basics that a lot of people do is they'll use pinky there and then the ring finger on the B string and then the normal up here. The way that I play it is I actually just kind of keep my, my, ring, my index finger off, just use my middle finger there and mute the A string with my ring finger. So it's just slightly touching that A string just to keep it from uh, making any sound. Uh, the other thing that I normally do on G is I'll actually throw my index finger mm -hmm. down here on the G string right there on the second fret and that makes it a G2 chord because it's adding the second note in the G scale. So this is an A so it's G and it's adding the A which makes it a G2 and it just gives it a nice cool um, kind of really tight sound to it. So this is the G2 chord. <laughs> Okay, and of course going to C, which is what you're normally going to do. I just drop that index, that um, middle finger down to the C, and that's it. I I just make sure not to play the E. Uh, usually I can mute it with my thumb. Hit that C, and then D is just that index finger right there, keeping uh, keeping the pinky and the ring finger in the same spot through all of these. Everything I do in G, I'm always keeping those two notes the same. I don't move those fingers at all. So then it's D. And again, don't play any string except the D string and the ones below it. So that's the basic G, G2, throwing that little uh, index finger there, second fret, um, C, D. And again, I'm just muting with my thumb up here um, so I don't hit uh, don't hit those notes. And then E minor is another chord that you would use in the G, uh, and that's just like this. Uh, second fret for both those strings. And then if I have to play an A minor 7, I'll usually keep my uh, pinky where it is, but then uh, I may um, do my index finger on the first fret, uh, middle finger on the second fret of B string, and then leaving the G string open. That's, how, that's normally how I play it. Again, just muting this E string up here. And D over F sharp is another one that you normally do. So it's just G, C, D, and then to get the F sharp, I usually use my thumb. Do the F sharp. Uh, G over B. Uh, that's another one that you'll see a lot of times in music where it's the bass note changes. Um, so the G over B is really simple. There's the normal G chord. But instead of playing the G as the bass note, you want to play the B, which is second fret of the A string. And so, that, that's G over B, and again, I'm just muting the E string with my thumb there. So I thought I'd show you a song that I used to put with those chords. Um, and I threw my capo on the third fret uh, to play this song. This is Jesus Paid It All. Um, and the reason I chose this song is because it uses nearly every one of those chords in the song itself so that way you can kind of get a good judge uh, one of the key things is basically I'm keeping uh, the E and the B string those fingers just don't move at all for the entire song and I'm basically just moving the bass note of G, G over B to C back to G over B to A 7 and again just, just leaving the top notes um, unmoving so I hear the saviors I give a shot Child of weak is watching for find me thine all in all. Jesus 
just paid it all, all to him I know. Sin and blood and crimson stain, it washed in white and There you have it, uh, my cheat chords for the key of G. Hope that helps. Uh, pretty much any song that you play in G or that's capo then you play in G, you can keep those chords, uh, use those chords all the time. Gives it that nice uh, acoustic guitar sound. Uh, those pedal tones just staying constant throughout the whole song. It gives it that cool sound. So hope that helps. Again, uh, check out my other videos uh, for other keys. Thanks.